So if you haven't checked your calendar, take a look at this table right here. Today is National Cotton Candy Day. That's right. Heaven. It's the treat which recalls visits to the circus and the state fair, and it has quite the iconic history. Ah, uh, yes. Look at this. Oh, good morning, America. Our salute to mm. diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the sugary confection, which is really is delicious, was invented by, get this, as you just said, yeah. a dentist. This stuff was invented by a dentist mm. named <laughs> William Morrison and candy maker John C. Wharton back in 1897. Seven years later, it was introduced at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, and thanks to its very simple ingredients, mm. air, and colored sugar. It has yeah. since gone to be, gone on to become one of the world's tastiest, most popular. The treats. dentist did it to guarantee guarantee work, business, right? Business, yeah, business. business. Yeah. All right, so we needed a real expert in the field today. Joining us from Orlando <laughs> is Samantha O'Hare, owner of Sky Candy Orlando, hey. a cotton candy art <laughs> company. Good morning to you. This is really good. Good morning, hi everyone. Oh, cotton candy it's for cotton, breakfast. We have no candy complaints. party, ma'am. This no. is great. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about uh, Sky Candy and mm -hmm. what a cotton candy artist does. What can yeah. you do with this stuff okay. besides suck so, it down at 8 o'clock a.m.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I roll in with a little 4 by 2 cart, and I make all different kinds of animals and characters out of the cotton candy as it comes mm. out of the machine. Flowers, unicorns are really popular still, so I do a lot of those. I've seen those online, lots of social media where the pe the artists are out there and they're they're spinning this stuff and they make giant flowers and things. So that's what you do for yeah, the Yeah, it's just really popular. Mm -hmm. What what are the favorite of... ones? What are, when people come in, what are they asking for? What do they want it shaped like? Um, it generally takes a minute for them to understand what's happening. So I uh -huh. tend to just hand things out and people see these, you know, cotton candy unicorns or giant flowers walking down the uh, corridors of the trade show or wherever I happen to be and they come find me pretty easily. How you said? Oh wow! There's one right there. there we go. Wow. They're that's huge. Big. Let's see that again. Can we pull that back up yeah. on screen. I see that. Oh, that's nice. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so these are pretty sizable. It's a good looking heart too. How do you do that? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been at it for about eight years. So. Well, there's a pig. A pig. Oh these wow! These are really creative and detailed. Oh, like you can sugar easily and make out what these heaven. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, when I do kids' parties, it's always a four-year-old that has a vision of whatever it is that they want, and they demand things of me. And right now, sometimes I don't know what they're asking for because I don't know any of the cartoons anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How do you keep the kids but from eating it? <laughs> I don't. I mean, I just let it rip, honestly. If the parents were going to let them have it, I'm there to have a good time, and so are they. So who am I to step on their fun? Uh, what's, what's the cool... Oh, see, and you also do art for, like, we're seeing an art for wedding. How did you... What yeah, do you do yeah. there? Well, it seems like everybody needs more fun right now, no yeah. matter what it is that they're doing. So especially with weddings, there's a lot of trends with bright colors and fun things. I've even seen bounce houses at weddings. Yeah. So I like to show up anywhere somebody needs more fun. And I have to be honest, I can't stop eating this stuff. No, it's crazy. And I'm here licking my fingers at 7.50 in the morning. It's so bad. I know. It exists. I know. Oh. But let me ask you this. You always see cotton candy, you know, state fair yeah. or kid's birthday party. You see that machine and things are kind of whirling and they have the stick and all that. Just in layman's terms, how do you make the stuff? I'm always fascinated by how it goes from air and sugar to a bowl yeah. full of deliciousness. So you can think about it coming out of the machine almost like water out of a hose. So the machine has a heating element inside that liquefies the sugar, and then it has little fans on the bottom that spin. Mm. And it pushes the air back up through the floss head, and as it hits the air, it cools back down, and it spreads out. So as that ribbon comes out, I'm able to spin it and control um, where it goes on the cone and then shape it and fold it. Yeah. Love it. If this is if this is an option when I go someplace for dinner or something and they've got this as a dessert, because a lot of restaurants have this now as dessert, that is always the thing that I should. My mom, too. Like, we're Golden Corral. She goes right. She gets got to get the cotton candy. It's huh? everywhere now. It's everywhere. Problems. Yeah. It's everywhere. Love it. Love it. Can we yeah. get a zoom up on, on Rob's hand? <laughs> Rob's hands. I don't know. No, you I'm can't sorry. see him actually, there. Where he's really a child at heart. I really though. am. I really am. I'm, I'm a grown no, man. Really. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much. There you go. <laughs> well, happy Cotton Candy Day to you. We appreciate you doing all this Thank down there. Thank you. Make sure you don't waste any of that now. Well, we're not going oh, to worry. It'll you do not have to worry about that, worry. Samantha. Founder of Sky Candy Orlando, thanks for joining us this morning and sharing your cotton candy art with us. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. What is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, no, but it looks good. Don't uh, go anywhere. Oh, Morning, Rush. Wine glass. Uh, wine glass. Ah, nice. oh, okay. Well We're going to clean up and finish eating this. Morning, Rush. will be right back. Don't go anywhere.